What's up everyone? In today's video, I am going to show you how to get your residence card here in Morocco. So let's dive in. My name is Salwa. I am a digital entrepreneur coach and a digital nomad. I am originally from Morocco and in today's video I am going to meet with a friend of mine who's been living here in Morocco for eight years and he is from Dominica and he's going to share with us his experience on how to get a residence card here in Morocco. Terry, come on in. Have a seat, have a seat. Hey, right there. Hi. All right, how you doing Terry? I'm good, I'm good. What about you? Very good. Yeah, that's cool. So Terry, tell us, um, you've been living in Morocco for eight years and you've been through this whole process of getting your residence card. Yeah, multiple right? times. Initially having to get the first card, then also having to renew that card. I also left Morocco for a while, came back, and I had to get a new one all over again. So I've done this process quite a few times. All right, so today we are going to take you with us on a journey and we are going to show you step by step how to get your carte de séjour or your residence card. Okay, so before you do anything, you need to get your birth certificate, the original birth certificate. That's super important. Why is it? That's necessary for proof of ID. You're going to provide that as well as your passport copy so you now have two um, documents proving who you are. Perfect. So birth certificate will get you your criminal uh, background check and then what else and then you go make copies of where you stay for example you should have a lease or a booking at a hotel or an Airbnb but some proof of address okay so proof of address your passport in your passport you want to also make the copy of your visa because it has the entry date and then what else they need the uh, lease, you the need lease. a copy of your lease and your original uh, lease because you're going to need to legalize that. We'll talk about that in a minute. And bank statements. And then that's, you need bank statements. That's to prove how you're taking care of yourself. So we looked for the amount of money you need to get on your bank statement, but we couldn't find a, uh, an amount per se. But what would you say? On average, I have been able to have my documents done with 5,000 dirhams. That's about $500 really. Yeah. And of course, the medical certificate. So in order to get that, what do we need to do, Terry? In order to get a medical certificate, you can just walk into any doctor's office here in the city. On average, it costs about 10 to $15 for a consultation. And they will just do a general checkup, nothing, nothing deep. And they provide you with just a little paper stating that you're of good health and that's enough. Okay, so for the criminal records, you can download the form and fit up online they will receive your form but you still need to print it so you get the series numbers with you when you apply for the uh, criminal background check yeah and that document should be done in the morning assuming you do this online you submit it in the morning you download your copy you take that copy they give you with your passport and birth certificate copies in the afternoon from 3 30 p.m you're able to go pick up your criminal record after you apply for everything what can they expect? Okay, once you have submitted all of the documents, right? You, you got the police record, you took it to the police department, immigration department, and you submit all of these documents, they're gonna provide you with a little paper, and it has a number on there, that's your reference number. That paper, you need it to come pick up your receipt in about two weeks. Is it really two weeks or? Yeah, I'll be honest, two weeks to a month. Okay. Once you pick up your receipt, that's when you have that long wait. But your receipt is as good as gold. Your, your ID number, basically, what's going to be printed on the actual card, is going to be on that receipt. And then you need to go for yourself every time to check it. Because here in Morocco, they don't mail you, they don't call you, they no, don't no. let you know it's there. So you need to go back and check. And once you get that new document, so the one that is going to be your temporary yeah. residence card, with that, you now becoming a uh, a, resident. a resident here, so you have all the rights, which means you can work, you can travel, yep. and then during that time, you will wait to get your official final residence cards. And yes. from that, how many? How long is the wait? From the moment you pick up the receipt, a wait of roughly two to three months. How long did you wait? I waited once. I waited one month. Once, I also waited five months. So, so it really depends first benefit that you get by getting your residence cards here in Morocco? It's a multiple entry visa 
You can come in tomorrow as many times as you like. You also get the right to work. You also get the right to study here. Also, certain medical benefits from the companies that you do work for, if it's a Moroccan company, you get access to the national, like, local healthcare as well. Just a quick disclaimer, we are not attorneys, we do not work for the immigration. I am a national Moroccan that lives abroad and Terry is from? Dominica. And this is just my personal experience. It varies, but generally this is the outline. You might have some delays, it's expected to have delays actually, but this is the outline. And also it depends on the country you're coming from. So uh, we Very highly important. urge you that you do your research before on coming in. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and we'll be happy to answer them. Yep. So now it's time for us to show you around and where you can get those documents done. And yeah, so let's go. You ready? Yeah. All right. So we're looking for a place like this one where you can go inside. Uh, this is here in Rabat. And then here you are going to ask for eight photos for uh, your passport. For the eight photos, it's about what we just asked and it's uh, 30. 30 dirhams, like that's like 3 euros, 4 euros. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. So next we're going to head over to the Justice um, Ministry of Justice. Mm -hmm. And we're going to ask for that demand or the paper you're going to fill out for your police record. Okay, let's go. All right, guys, so we are now in front of the Ministry of Justice yeah. right by the, behind us. Mm -hmm. And here, what are we doing, Terry? What we're going to do is provide them with, uh, bring our copies of our birth certificate, bring the copies of your passport, and you're going to ask them for that form you need to fill out. Okay, and we, we're going to go in, right, to get the form so yeah. we can show it to you. But we can't record in there. We can't record in there. And then also, there is a print place right across. So in case you want to do this together, mm -hmm. you can always do it right here and then go inside and get the documents. Once right? you get that document, you fill it out, you deposit it right away and you leave. Perfect. They're All gonna right. give you a little receipt and you come back in the afternoon to pick up. To pick it up. Yeah. All right, let's do this. So that's the door right behind us. We literally just picked up this form. We're gonna go to a cafe, fill it out and also show you what it really looks like. But that's the door right there. We can't film, so we have to be really sneaky. All right, people. So we picked up this document, that's what you need to fill out. And then we just noticed that there's uh, French, English, Italian and Spanish. Spanish, yeah. So you don't even need to write everything in French. And the idea is to fill this up right there and there. So not to leave, we just picked this up for you guys. But for, if it was you, they would just go in. Yeah. Immediately fill it out, put the necessary information in and deposit it. That's it. So we'll take you on to the next step, which is getting your document legalized before we go apply for the card de séjour or the residence cards. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so this is the street where you need to go in order to apply for your residence card. Also, you will need to go to a place to legalize all your documents. What we are going to do right now, we have all of our documents, we got our police record, we have our documents legalized. What we need to do now is go to the immigration department, which is literally the headquarters of the police headquarters. It's right behind us, we cannot film, but we'll try to do a... But this church, if you look up, it's right next to it, you can't miss it. Yeah. You really can't miss it. Alright, so let's go. So this is the card de séjour you would need in order to get your application. So it's at the entry, you can find it. So now we are done with everything. So Terry, let's do a quick recap. What documents did we do and where did we start? So we started off by getting copies of our passport, the front page. That includes also the back page where you have that visa, that stamp you got when you arrived. Next thing we did, we went ahead and got copies of our birth certificate as well. You should have the original with you already. We went, picked up this form, which we need to fill out. We should go back at 3.30 to pick up the actual police report. Mm -hmm. The next step would be to go ahead and get all of those information that we collected beforehand. Legalized. Legalized. We then take that to the police department, the immigration department in the police headquarters. They will provide you with this yellow form and this form and this long 
legal letter sized form. You fill, you fill all of these out and then you deposit them. I mean... But we have to note some. We have to let you know that this is only in French. There's no English or other version. So if you don't speak French, make sure to bring somebody with you and then you fill up everything on the spot so you can submit the application right there and there. I also use Google Translate. I take a photo and translate that. Good tip. <laughs> By the time you do your police report application, you need to drop it off in the morning and pick it up at 3.30 in the afternoon. That means you won't have enough time to go and apply for your carte de séjour or residence card. But you can do this the next day and in two days you're done. And you just have to wait to get this receipt in order for you to start working and traveling and be a legal resident here in Morocco. So, I think that's it for today. Is there any questions? Any, is there anything left, Terry? Uh, I think we're good. All right, so thank you so much for watching today's video. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye from Rabat. Ciao. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe. We put a lot of hard work to make those videos for you. I have a free training for you, how to start your online business so you too can work from anywhere and I will put the link down below. Lastly, follow me on Instagram at Salwa Ibarin and I'll see you next time. So we are now in front of the uh, Agda station in Rabat. So we... No? No. Very first step, you go, you get your eight photos, biometric no, passport No, that's photos. not oh. it. The first step yeah. is they need... Once you get those documents... Hold on. Hold on. I kind of like it here. Yeah, it's the spot. It's called the spot. It's called the spot? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we got to turn off this camera.